Yo, what's going on? This is Alim Kamara, and you're watching T4GC. I'm taking a break from the from the morning run. And why this? And why now? Tales for Griot Collection is about sharing the art of storytelling. You know, I remember being back home and listening to storytellers at night time and the crickets and, and, and somebody roasting peanuts. And we just, we just sat there and we just listened to these stories. And it didn't matter about your problems, what you're going through at that moment in time, it was storytelling time. And uh, I go into schools and something I want to say in an hour with storytelling, I can say in five minutes. It's a powerful tool. And when I came to the UK, hip hop was the means through which I found storytelling. And that was what I fell in love with. And when I went to uni, did a storytelling module, I was remembered the old, the ancient style of storytelling. You know, storytelling back in the day, like that was the mass media. It was the entertainment. It was it was what informed. It answered questions. And even the, the, the greatest of men, the kings of kings, would call griots to solve their issues. That's how powerful griots are seen in the community and society. And um, I created T4GC to be able to just do just that, share stories, and hope that it makes you smile that it makes you think, that it makes you wonder, that it makes you create, that it makes you say, you know what? It's cool. Or you, or you get in a situation that allows you to, to check the situation and relate it to, to a story that you might have heard from T4GC. And that's why I chose it. And that's why every Tuesday, the discipline I'm building, working hard to just make it happen. And I was trying to get the whole, the whole natural scene going on. I don't know, my man over there is about to get into my scene and, 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 and take away the, 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 the naturalness that I wanted to have with you. But it's all good. Um, this week, I simply just want to share a quick one, an Aesop tale that I came across. And it's, it's about a thief who got caught stealing. And, um, you know, they basically said, we're going to kill you. And he asked for one request, and his one request was, can I at least please like, speak to my mum before I'm executed? And they were like, right, cool, you're going to die anyway. And so they went and got his mum. And when his mum came to the, to the cell, he asked her to come close and said, I want to whisper something to you. And as she came closer, he went to bite off her ear. Yeah, so everyone that's standing around is looking, and it's like, wow, like, why are you trying to bite off your mum's ear for? And he said, when I was young, I would steal things. I started stealing when I was young. And I would bring the things that I've stolen home to my mom. And she would just laugh and say, <laughs> no one's gonna miss it. And as a result of her not stopping me when I was young, that's how I've ended up here today. I think the expression is, Nip it in the bud or something like that. Nip the bud. This is T4GC. Let's keep storytelling vibrant. I ain't gonna say alive, it's, a, it's, it's well and truly alive. Let's keep it vibrant. Let's keep it going. I hope you continue to, to share these stories and take from them what you will. Because it depends on where you are in your life. One day you hear a story and it has one meaning. You hear it another day and it connects and says something completely different. This is me, Alim Kamara, your griot, your storyteller, T4GC. Peace out.